Have you ever been jealous of one of your girlfriends? I saw this video. Um, I saw this video, video and think it was a spiritual word. And I believe it actually was posted on TikTok first. But a woman was just talking about her going out and being around her girlfriends or just going out in general and she's never approached. And I have a, so I have a, a lot of women who are my friends. <laughs> and I know people are like, People use the word very loosely, but I do have a very strong group of friends and we have, we're all supportive and a lot of them are connected through me, but I have a great group of friends who support me and encourage me and I support and encourage them and it, it may seem out of the norm, but I've never been jealous of any of them and I've never gone out and observed like, you know, oh, so-and-so got approached more than me tonight or, you know, another spot. Or I don't want to go out because I don't want to watch someone else get approached. And this is something that I'm definitely going to talk about on my podcast with a group of my friends because I think it's a very, very important topic. But that's just one situation. One of my very close friends um, got married. And um, it is... I wouldn't say it's funny, but oh my gosh, we're very close. Um, she, We are very good friends. I would say we are, you know, I have two best friends. Um, one is my childhood best friend, and then I met her in college. She's also my line sister, a soror, and she is like family. But, you know, I was, I was in Jacksonville helping her get ready for her wedding, and I did. I asked myself, and I, I was actually there like a week before the actual wedding. I was working virtually, but I was also like helping her get things prepared. And I asked myself, like, do I feel some type of way? You know, I'm not married. Um, I think I was 35 at the time. That's crazy. I don't know. Um, I think I was 35 at the time, 34, 35, to, I think 34. And um, I stopped, and I was just was like, do I feel some type of way about this? That I'm not married. I'm helping her. She's getting married. Like I asked myself that and I didn't feel any type of way, but I took a moment to like really think about it and just kind of question like, do I feel something? Because I'm not married. I'm not engaged and I'm helping her prepare for this moment. Uh, now, of course, my answer was no, I didn't. But I even told her, I was like, hey, if I asked myself, <laughs> you know, I took a moment to kind of asked myself, do I feel a certain type of way? And, um, you know, she was like, you know what? I'm not surprised that you did. I think that's normal. Um, but she said, she was like, but I, I know you and I know our relationship and how happy um, I am, you know, I, I was for her and how, you know, I rooted for her relationship and for happiness for her and all the support over the years that she's like, I wouldn't even question, you know, if you were unhappy for me or jealous but it was normal to ask myself that question. And the reason why I bring that up is because maybe we have friends or there's other women in our lives that are, you know, they're progressing or they're receiving accomplishments or hitting goals. And maybe we have similar goals or different goals, but goals in general, and we're not quite there. And it's okay to acknowledge that, you know, you're on this path and you're hoping to get where you want to be in the end goal, but not be jealous of someone else's success. Even if you're in the same industry or you're on the same path, you know, it's, it's enough for all of us to be successful and to be supportive and encouraging. And I think that even the, the thought of me, like, you know, thinking about like, do I feel some type of way? I think that's absolutely normal. She and I had that conversation. She and I actually shared with another group of women that we had that conversation to help them realize as single women, it's a normal thought and emotion, but you don't want to sit in that and become jealous and envious. You know, it's, it shouldn't be that way. And not to say that everyone's going to be like that, but I did, I asked myself and I was real about it and I was open enough and we have a great relationship where I could share that with her. But I could have been jealous and bitter and hopefully not sabotage anything. But some people are like that. And when you get to that point where you have friends that you can't be happy for, or, you know, if they are being successful and accomplishing things, 
that you don't want to celebrate them because you're, you know, you feel a certain type of way because you're not getting what you want. That is some serious self-reflection. That could also be a therapy, you know, maybe you need therapy, life coaching. But if you can't be happy for other people, if you're jealous because of other success and them reaching their goals, that is true serious reflection that you have to think about and really, really take a deep dive and determine what's the root cause. What's triggering you to have that response because it should be a sisterhood. I know many people say, I don't like friends. I don't have no friends. It is very unhealthy to me when people tell me they don't have any friends. I have to be completely honest. You know, we should be able to function in relationships and friendships and, and friendships and relationships and, and even associates with women, I think it's so important. And if you can, I do think it's an opportunity for you to self-reflect and determine where did that come from? Where did that jealousy trait come from? Is it the way you was raised? You know, did you see your mom or your sisters behave that way? Did they treat you that way? And now you don't trust other women. And then it's a reflection of how you interact or behave or think about other women. But we shouldn't function in jealousy. You know, it shouldn't be our first thought. And it's natural to, you know, question, you know, like I said, about the wedding or if somebody else got something, you kind of reflect on yourself, but you don't want to sit in that. And if you are sitting in that, then I definitely think it's an opportunity for you to determine, you know, is it a lack of self-confidence? Is it a lack of self-love? Do you not know your worth? Um, because it's so important to realize we are all on different paths of life and our path is not going to look the same. Regardless if we talk every day, we hang out, maybe we live together, We've been friends for 30 plus years. Our paths will not look the same. You know, my my my, my childhood best friend currently, she's she's in school. And, um, you know, she'll have her doctorate when she finishes. And she is taking exams and I'm, I'm encouraging her and you're going to do great. And when she passes an exam and she's knocking it out, like I'm celebrating her. I'm happy for her. She has always been happy for me. She's always celebrated me. She's always encouraged and motivated me. And it's been genuine. And it should be that way where in a circle of women or if it's one or two, whatever it is, that you can recognize, celebrate, encourage, and motivate one another without there being any envy, especially for single women. You know, our timing is our timing. And when you want to meet the man who is meant for you, the man that was meant to be your husband, you know, that may look different where my friend got married in 2020 and I'm in 2022 and I'm not married yet. And I'm still very happy for her. She just had a baby too. So cute. Um, I'm still very, very happy for her. And I'm clearly in, in line with where I'm supposed to be. And to be quite honest, you know, her and her husband probably pray for my husband more than I do. I'm going to be honest about that. But I'm still so very happy for her. And I haven't even thought about what I initially asked myself when I was just helping with the wedding process. But, you know, as women, we have got to come together and just really, really put some of those things aside. And maybe it is something you truly have to address. But if you are jealous of every woman in your life, or if you have friends who are jealous of you, that's also self-evaluation. Why are you allowing your friends to be jealous of you, to treat you a certain way? Why are you with round women who don't know how to celebrate you? That also is a reflection of self-love. You are worth people who are going to celebrate you, motivate you, inspire you, who really truly are happy for you. And if they're not, you probably want to evaluate if those people should be in your life. Sometimes family, we can't help, but friends, definitely you want to evaluate it. So I just want to bring up this topic about jealousy and relationships and friendships and what those look like. I am definitely going to bring that topic up, you know, as far as my friend group about going out and being jealous when you see men talking to your friends. I, I don't even know if I, I, I have, you know, I'm sure I know what's happened, but I can't recall like, oh, we went out and so-and-so five guys walked up to them because I'm sure it's happened to all of us where maybe I got approached and they didn't, they got approached and I didn't, and we're not keeping track of that. But some people do. And there's some things that really, really deep down is triggering that. These tr The word triggers. It's triggering you to respond that way or feel a certain type of way. And you got to get down to the root cause of it. Because having 
a strong support of women is amazing. Um, and it's something that you can absolutely have and it can be a beautiful sisterhood, but you really have to just identify, are you receiving jealousy or are you, are, are you putting out jealousy and then really dig down deep into the why and address that. If you're looking for a group of women who can empower you and inspire you and have conversations like this, be on the lookout for my monthly women improvement call, monthly women's improvement call. They're once a month. They're an hour. It's an open conversation. I'll bring topics and questions and things like that, but I open up to the floor and as a group of women, we talk and have conversations about things that are so important for women and especially women of color that we never talk about. So be on the lookout for that. It's in the link tree in my about section where you can register um, for the next call. But yes, we have a community for you. If you're looking for that community just to start, you may not be friends, but you'll be around women who are looking to inspire, motivate, encourage, and celebrate one another. So it's definitely a start. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a good day.